All right, guys, today I wanted to talk about what might possibly be the best knife for the year as far as just an overall value to money and materials, build quality, all of those types of things. This knife just simply checks off all of those boxes. And I am certainly glad that more knife tubers such as Cedric Ada are giving this blade a little bit more attention in airtime. I myself am also trying to do that. And I also thank the community community members that definitely suggested this blade because the Hogue Deca is one of those knives that I think has really been flying under the radar for the past few years. It's not a brand new knife. Um, I think it actually dropped last year, but it's been flying under the radar and really I think it deserves a lot more attention and uh, kind of just overall attention and airtime overall because it is awesome and I think that it really shows where knife makers should be as far as things like the Benchmade bug out goes and other knives um, being made out there. And I think first off why this blade is such a winner is especially because its direct competitor is the Benchmade bug out as you guys can probably clearly see here, you know, uh, in blade shape, um, overall size, handle size, uh, even action, you know, is pretty darn similar and price point is pretty darn similar too. The only difference is the Hodeca in its stock configuration like this is about $20 to $25 cheaper than the stock bug out. Now, in fairness, the one that you guys see here is a limited edition bug out. That was a Blade HQ exclusive, but uh, it was, I got it for $150, which is the same price as your um, Benchmade bug outs nowadays. Actually, I think the normal bug out now is 160, but if you were to get that uh, blade, it would be a similar polymer construction handle and a, an S30V blade. Of course, this one is 20 CV, so 20 CV might honestly edge out the um, Magna Cut, but overall, talking about like you know just stock configurations this guy is really darn good now like many people have said about this knife um, and honestly about the bug out is that because of its thin size and because of its thin handle and its kind of cheap handle overall like this is pretty pretty flexible it's not the best certainly I do like G10 a lot more this is a lot stiffer overall but from the perspective of it um, you know, a lot of people do recommend replacing the handles, but especially if you're getting this knife for, you know, like I said, like $20, $30 cheaper than a bug out, you know, putting on handles is that much easier, that much more monetarily uh, achievable. So I think it's definitely a fair point to add. And also too, it's, it's worth noting that I think that like I said, because this knife was designed to compete with the bug out, like the bug out uses such thin and kind of cheap handles because it's lightweight and it's durable. So yeah, ultimately, I think that this blade would benefit from aftermarket scales that would just be a little bit more hand filling. But at the same time too, I definitely respect the fact that this blade is designed to be minimalistic, thin, and very carryable. And I have gotten questions in the past, am I thinking about changing out the um, handles for something bigger or thicker or heavier duty? And the ultimate answer is no, because I do actually like or have a specific rule that I was previously using my bench made bug out for and that is kind of just a workout related or you know just ultra lightweight carry blade uh, for specific applications like trail running and such and that's where I'm going to probably be carrying the uh, that's where I'll probably be carrying the Hogue Deca the most as a kind of replacement to the bug out. So ultimately, um, when it comes down to it, I don't have too much to say. The blade is really cool. I've talked about it in many other uh, knife videos and will continue to as well but i think the ho deca is pretty darn cool and i like the fact that they offer it in two pretty different um, blade shapes you can get a more standardized you know drop point or you can get this nice dual ground um worn cliff style and of course had to try this style out it does look potentially a little bit gimmicky i know not everyone loves that but i do think it is pretty cool and not to mention especially this uh kind of portion that has the thinner ground 
is super, super slicey. Already mated with the fact that it has a very thin blade stock. This thing is just a slicer for days. And that Magna Cut took a very nice polish from the Wicked Edge. And yeah, overall, it is pretty darn stellar. So yeah, I do really like the Deca. It is one of those that you can just throw in a pocket and um, forget about. And the fact that it is a USA made blade that has super good lockup. Their version of the axis lock or crossbar lock, whatever you'd like to call it, is absolutely solid and uh, the action is without complaint, you know, it is really good. So it's really cool to see options out there, competitive options like this, that kind of rival things like the mini grip and of course the bug out, because all of these blades are really cool in their own right, except for maybe the bug out. The bug out's a little bit overpriced in my opinion, but especially the mini grip and the deca are really cool in their own right. And I think that the, uh, the Deca is one of the best knives out there that you can buy if you're looking for something that has very high quality for a reasonable price. It feels like nowadays we're just surrounded by knives that essentially all look the same or even, you know, like when talking about the bug out, you know, they dropped this uh, blade for SHOT Show in 2023 and essentially they had just different handle colors, different blade colors. They hadn't even really changed the steel. So it was really just different types and colors of the same exact knife and so it's cool that once again out the gate you have different blade shapes to pick from whichever one's going to be most suitable to your applications or use style and then of course you also have that really nice magna cut steel you also have the really solid magna cut steel and once again at a lower price so still made in the u.s still very high quality and once again very very comparable to the bug out even even the clips look very similar so anyways definitely worth a check out and i think that as far as it goes i don't have too much to say exactly but realistically if you are really looking for a value option blade the deca is probably one of the best for the year so overall guys that's my opinion that's what i think and hopefully enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out